All right, hi friends. Oh wait, hi friends. <laughs> so today we're gonna do a really fun protective style. Do, 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 we are gonna do, 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 do bantu knots. So here at Curly McKee, we do different hairstyles. We try different hair, curly hair products and just tips and tricks for dealing with curly hair kids. And we come out with videos every week. So if you like videos like that, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, yeah, join our family, woo, 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 woo. and get notified of our new videos that come out every week. Every week. So we're gonna do Bantu Nuts today, which are a fun and relatively easy uh, protective style. And I like to do protective styles just to keep moisture in her hair and um, they're also like fuss free. So if I don't, once I do a protective style, I know that I'm not gonna have to do anything to her hair other than maybe add some water and some mousse um, for at least a few days, sometimes a week, sometimes a little bit longer. We are gonna start get started with our Bantu knots. I always like to manipulate her hair when it's wet, so I'm gonna get it wet. The other things, the other things that I make sure I have, so I have a rat tail comb. I'm gonna use this end to make sure I get really good parts. A really moisturizing product, so I'm gonna use this coconut and hibiscus curl and style milk from Shea Moisture. From Shea Moisture. It's a little bit heavy for her curls when, I'm, when she's wearing them out, but for a protective style, I like something that's just a little bit thicker and creamier so that her hair can really absorb it. And then I have little rubber bands. And then I have a shield. I also have clips, clips, so as I part her hair, I can clip back the other parts. I also have gel. I added gel to her last protective style that was braids, and it helped the style last a long time. So I'm gonna try it in the Bantu knots today. So we're gonna start by spraying her hair, getting it just a little bit wet. All right, I'm also gonna time how long this takes. So her hair's like damp. And it is 11.15. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, take my right tail comb and I'm gonna do a part down the middle because I'm gonna focus on one half of her hair. Um, but what I want to do is I wanna do a zigzag part, which I'm not very good at yet, but we're gonna practice because- I know how to do a zigzag. Do you? Because we're quarantined, I don't know who's going to see this, and we're going to try. sections the bigger the knot will be but the less you'll have throughout the head. The head will throw out. No. So we're gonna start with that one. Start with that one. So we're gonna get it a little bit wetter. Just because I really like to um, have the hair you know it's just easier to manipulate when it's wet. We're gonna add a little Hi. bit of this um, Milk. Everybody say cheese. Cheese. Now we're gonna add I, a little I bit of the gel. I, I was... Some people do it different ways. How I like to do it is I like to add a rubber band at the base so okay. that it's nice and tight. Some people just start twisting, um, but her hair can be pretty fine. And so I just like to secure it at the base and then I do a braid and then secure it again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this section of hair and I just have a little rubber band and you like it to be kind of in the middle of the section. Tight, but not too tight. That's the one thing with protective styles is you don't want them too tight. Um, you don't want any damage. All right, so now we have this section and so now I'm just going to braid it. So separate them into three sections. Some people do twists. I like to do braids again just because her hair is fine and twists seem, seem to come out of her hair. Ugh. And it's crazy. I started doing 
this was one of the first protective styles that I ever did on her hair. But her hair was so short. I'll add some of those photos in here too. It was just one of the easier ones to do because um, her hair wasn't really uh, long enough to braid. I wasn't skilled enough in, in like actual braiding. So this was just something that I found online blah, blah, blah. and was like, okay, I can, I can do that. So now you have this section. And so you kind of take the base where the rubber band is and you just kind of start wrapping the braid around itself. So I take it here and I just start wrapping. So now the section that right at the end, so now you have like your little bantu knot. So some people can like tuck the hair under and get that to stay. I, again, because her hair is so fine, I like to then just take another rubber band and secure it. So now I have a little bantu knot. It's not that little. So now you just start sectioning out the rest of her hair and do the knots. And so you want to use the fine tooth comb and that's how you'll get nice clean sections. Three hours later. My smoochiest face. So here we are. So here's our finished band two knots. Um, yeah. So it is. Twelve thirty-two. So it's twelve thirty-two. So that took a while. Some people like to use these for a twist out. So the next day they'll take them out and they create just a different curl pattern. I like to leave them in for a few days. Hold on, don't mess them up. Because I just took an hour to do them. So we're going to leave them in for a couple days. Yeah, we'll also show you guys the back. There's the back. There's the back. There's the middle. There's my smoochy face. There's my smoochy face. There's my... So thank you so much for watching. I want to put this on. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this, if you, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, we come out with videos every week, so make sure you subscribe. And we will see you next week on Curly McKee. Bye! Bye!